everybody. It's Alex from Heavy New York invading California once again for NAM 2018. And today we got my boys in Westfield Massacre. Ooh. Great to have you. Great to see you again, Steven. Yeah, likewise, You're like man. a regular here. We need to co-host the show together more. Let's do it. Just let me know. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. And now, first time we got Eric and Dio. Eric and Dio. How's it yep. going, brother? Yep. Last time uh, we had um, your new vocalist, Son. And uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, and I, Sean, yeah. Yeah, Sean. I yeah. thought I, that I got his name right. And uh, and uh, now. Uh, yep. And now we need Ira, and then we complete yeah. the whole band. He's around here yeah. somewhere. He's got a pretty busy schedule today. Yeah, I know. I know. But rumor has it the new record is almost finished. So what could we be expecting? Good for songs. for it to be released. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're um, it's actually getting mixed and mastered by uh, Rich Mauser, who has Mouse House Studios in Pasadena, California, and uh, we're really happy to be working with him, and it sounds phenomenal. We couldn't be happier. Yeah. And uh, we can't wait because, you know, we've been waiting for the new record for so long and it's going to be totally worth it. Now, being that this is Sean's first time on vocals, can we be expecting some newer elements uh, that haven't been incorporated before? Uh, totally. Sean is like uh, Jesus. That's all I can say. That's how amazing he is. A blonde Jesus. A blonde Jesus. Yeah. No, it's uh, it's really good. Uh, some of the elements, I mean... Uh, you know, obviously Tommy was previously with us, and Tommy's an incredible vocalist. And um, how do you fill those shoes? You know, how do you get somebody to come in and and do what Tommy did? And Sean does it, man. I mean, he doesn't sound like Tommy. It's a completely different sound and voice, but uh, he's amazing, man. Everything that he can do uh, when it comes to screams, when it comes to melody. Uh, it's it's pretty incredible, and um, we're happy that we have somebody that won't let us down and won't let the fans down. You Absolutely, know? and you know I saw you guys back in Queens with the new vocalist, the first tour with Firing All Cylinders. How was it? It was great. He's great. He's good. Yeah, right? he played, yeah. Yep, he played the new song Only the Dead. Yeah, uh, which was very well done, and then uh, played all the stuff that I saw you guys play with Tommy and. Very well done. I'm very impressed. Yeah, it's a, it's. Do you a, remember when a crazy guy just went on stage and sang underneath the scan with us? Yeah, that who guy was, was that was maniac? Yeah. Real? No, no, it wasn't. Yeah, I heard Some, that guy. That guy was a tool. He was. A, he was a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I get emotional. Uh, but Eric, one question I have for you is: I know that you played in a couple other bands. You played with Otep yeah. uh, for a period of time, and also Thrown into Exile, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thrown into Exile, Otep. Um, been in, I've been around the block. Yeah. So, how different of a mind frame or playing process is it uh, in Westfield Massacre as oh, opposed to man. the other? Um, you know, Thrown into Exile was awesome. You know, uh, so was Otep, and um, you know, I think that the the important thing is like enjoying who you're on stage with that's a really big thing uh i've been at points in different bands i've played in where you kind of are just like over it and you're like i fucking don't want to be here uh, and i think that happens with a lot of people in in bands when you get to that point where you're just fed up with everything and um i have to say that the difference between those projects and westfield massacre is that uh i enjoyed those projects <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, where's the punchline? No, 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 man. It, uh, I enjoyed those projects. I enjoy this project, um, you know, and uh, I love these guys. You know, it's really hard to come across guys that are willing to get into the fucking trenches with you and go through thick and thin. And um, these guys, you know, this is the crew, man. These are my brothers, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Now... Of course, now you, I think we talked about this last year, but with the new record, is it more or less, because I know you have a new vocalist, you're doing some different elements, but is it also kind of meant to be a follow-up to the first record, or is it just a fresh new chapter for Westfield? Uh, I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, obviously, it's, it's a, um, you know, it's a fresh new singer, so there's some new elements, you know. Um, we all worked really hard on this record with that, too. But, of course, it's still Westfield, you know what I mean? Like, it's not... It's not like, oh, what's this? I mean, it's just a, n a natural progression of what, you know, a band that's growing w would become, I think, you know? Absolutely. And, you know, like, you know, combining elements, because I'd imagine, you know, Ira coming from Lizzie Borden and I Am Morbid and the other 200 projects he's in, you coming from Throne into yeah. Exile, and Sean with Adler's Appetite, he also played in uh, Quiet Riot, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah so yeah. that, you know, I feel like you guys have like a smorgasbord to combine a lot of different things together. I think you got to, you know, we didn't want to like completely ditch what 
is Westfield Massacre, you know, and the first record is very much guitar driven and has a lot of melody. And one of the things that we wanted to encompass on this record is we wanted to take take it to the next level, right? So we wanted to keep the guitar melodies, we wanted to keep the awesome vocals, but uh, we didn't want to completely ditch the heavy aspect that was there. And I think we did a pretty good job of maintaining what was Westfield Massacre and what Westfield Massacre will become. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah, that was very articulate, I gotta say. That was hey, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm edumacated. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. Now, it's NAM 2018. It's freaking gear heaven right here. So we got to do some gear talk. And being that we have the guitar, bass, and drums, oh, I'm ready to hear it. I know you're a firm user of ESP. We're out that side of the ESP yeah. booth right now. Yeah, uh, I've been with ESP for a couple years now. And like you said, we're just hanging out. A lot of nice guitars over there. Um, I used the, uh, I have two E2 Eclipses that I use on the record, and then I had an E2 Horizon 7 string. Um, all EMG pickups, you know, we use Kempers and, you know, just kind of go direct and find a good sound. And I love ESP. They're great. The uh, Tony, everyone at the company is really good to me. And uh, I use Kurt Mangan strings. And uh, then today I'm talking to EMG. So. Oh, sweet. Yeah, it's just, that's why it works for me. Damn. I love it. You're all over the place. I'm all over the place. Yeah. What about, let's hear well, what the drums I've been with Tama for a couple of years now, and I've been touring nonstop with those drums. And they're just amazing. Yeah. Like, you barely need to tune them, and they're, they sound big. Yeah. They sound perfect for me. You know, I was talking with Tim Young last night, and I, I have always expressed, because drummers are the biggest gear nerds I've ever met, and I mean it as a compliment. But like, there's a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of shit. <laughs> but it seems like drums, it always comes back to the first thing, keeping rhythm, keeping beat, keeping everything in tempo. But like, so many different pieces of hardware come out to kind of like inspire it. Is there any new pieces of gear coming out that you just are salivating over? Recently, I just acquired a new is this Alice's uh, like drum module. Because before that, I was just using this big ass module just for the bass drum. That's yeah. the only thing that's triggered. So now with this one, it's just the less the better. Because to go on tour, like you said, it's a lot of shit. So yeah, wanna... I can't imagine what Mike Portnoy has to go through every day. <laughs> Goodness, <that's laughs> I know. Serious. Yeah, and let's hear the man who's all about that uh, bass. All about that bass. <laughs> no treble. <All> right. <laughs> You know, honestly, man, I'm more of a I'm more of a writer, so I'm not much of like a gear nerd when it comes to that. But um, you know, I've been using ESP since when I was with Destrophy and with Otep and thrown into Exile. They've always taken care of me. Um, you know, Tony is awesome. You know, anytime we need anything, he's always there to help us out. And uh, you know, for for strings, Steven just recently actually hooked me up with Kurt Mangan, and they're f yeah, just man. where we spoke last the year. Family, yeah, it was last they're year. They're yeah. effing awesome. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, I use these picks that are called Swiss picks. And it's kind of goofy. They're like, so uh, like holes in it. Like yeah, it's kind of like Swiss cheese, but but it's crazy. Um, Pete, what he did was he, he's the guy that runs Swiss picks. Is that he hired a guy from MIT to like come up with like the perfect mathematical angle for, for the cheese. tip of the pick for cheese. <laughs> <laughs> for cheese. It's really cheesy, you know. Yeah. Uh, and it's incredible, man. These things, the way that you strike the string. I mean, it's like. It, it's like you're playing I, I don't know how it's just so precise it's awesome you know and these things are they're they're great um, and that's really to me all I really care about gear is strings the instrument I'm playing and the pick that I'm using you know amps are great but I've never been much of a tone guy as long as if it's loud yeah so as long as it's loud and people can hear me yeah that's all I care yeah. about and you're playing in front of Dio so you gotta out loud I gotta be I, actually Ira is the loudest one in yeah. our band oh my his, his I, Ira, I love you, but you were very <laughs> not quiet on Turn it down, <laughs> Ira. Turn it down. No. He's like, we got this. <laughs> well, again, guys, i got to truly thank you so much for coming on. It's always great seeing you guys. Yeah. So the new record is going to come out for 2018. Can we be expecting any tours or anything like that? No. <laughs> yeah. Try that again. Uh, <laughs> you, take two. You can, <laughs> yeah, I think... Uh, you know, as any band, we want to be on the road all the time, and we want to spread our gospel to the masses. And uh, you can plan on seeing us everywhere forever. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> not bad. Not bad. <laughs> yeah. But again, guys, thank you so much thank for so much coming on. Man. Yep. Place, it's always great seeing wait, you guys. Wait, where, where is it? Where is it? <laughs> you see this right here? Tim Martinez. Have your lips touched this yet? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a hybrid theory?
Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody, we got my boys from Westfield Massacre. Be sure to be out for their new record coming this year. You do not want to miss it. Alex from Heavy New York invading California for NAM 2018, and we'll see yeah. you next time. Yeah. yeah.